Hey guys, I'm here at Aeon because I need to do a weekly shop and I thought I'd bring you with me. Um, there's a few stores here actually in Malaysia. You've got the family store, you've got Aeon, you've got Lotus, which is your former Tesco's and you want to see what they've got. I mean, I keep coming back here and there's plenty of reason for it. And today I'm going to show you what's going on in there. You've got food, you've got groceries, you've got clothing, electricals, not that I'm going to take you around all of those, I've got, I have no, got, not got time for that today, but I will show you around the food and groceries and the choices and the variety that you've got. So here we go, let's, uh, let's do this. Right, I'm in and mum's been waiting here for me with her own trolley because she wants to do her own shopping. I know I'm going to be the same as her when I'm older. It's going to be like, get the hell out of my way, I'm doing it myself. You know what I really love is that I think everything, they've got the unhealthies, but they've also got your healthy options, like these fruit bars are, are amazing. It's just a better choice, you know? This is really good. That's really good. I tried them. They're, they're um, roasted chestnuts and sweet potato. They literally always have it. Now, like any fabulous store, you've got to have a decent bakery and their bakery is banging. Look at all of that. Whole section is freshly baked. Look over there. I want things. Some mangoes. Huge selection. I need some lemons. I need some lemons. Or I'll get a bag of lemons, actually. See, this is what I mean. It is literally the same as being in the UK. Oh, they smell so good. Right, they're 11 50 which is approximately £2, and there's six lemons, which I guess is probably a little bit on the expensive side, isn't it? I don't know. You tell me. So this is a guava. Like, look, at these are delicious, these guavas. And then you've got all of this half cut fruit because obviously you can't eat all of it. I might get one of these actually because there's only a few of us in the house. But look at the size of these pomelos. I have not seen pomelos this size. Like that is my head. Literally, <laughs> it could be a pomelo head. I have to say, Aeon is quite pricey, really, in comparison. It is one of the high ends. I want one of these. These are 15 ringgits, which is 6, 12, 2 pounds odd, which is not bad, really, is it? Have that, but I want blueberries. Look, these, like, I'm not kidding you. It's so worth it. Look at the size of them. They're 10 ringgits, which is 1 pounds 50, call it. Oh my God, they look amazing. They're like, I think they are quite priced. These are £1.50, which is, yeah, I'd say expensive. But um, you know when you're going to enjoy it? You don't mind paying for it? There we go. I mean, on average, I've noticed that we spend about three to 400 ringgits weekly on food. Oh, look, roasted chestnuts. And I'm going to have some of them. Why not? Ring it, a ring it chestnut oh this is another thing they do freshly squeezed juices every single day and um, they also do freshly cut um, jackfruit so let me take you over there have we not done this I thought I'd shown you all this you guys Mama, already got some. Nanny oh has six. nanny got some six yeah six all right are we buying the same stuff me and nanny so I don't know if you saw my TikTok, but I did it on the actual peeled coconut. So they take the shell off, you've got the coconut, and then you've got the drink inside. And this is here, right? And that's a peeled coconut, and that costs 7 50 which is pound and some pennies. Should we get some of these? Yes, please. How cool is this? You get tennis balls in a tube. Here you get apples in a tube. Like, that is a really cool idea. Where's this come from? New Zealand. New Zealand, how sick is that? I, I'm going to get my plums. These are really good plums. They're the black ones. They're so delicious. They're 19, so 6, 12, 18, 3 pounds. Oh, look at them. What are they? What the heck? What is that? What is that? 
Oh, okay. So dried persimmons, that's what that is. Oh, they, they must be delicious. £3.20. 3.2. That's only 50p. That's... Oh, hang on. Is that the same thing? Sweet persimmon. I bet it is. So the packet one is 12. Okay. Anyhow, I'm not having those. I am having these because I really like these. Okay, what's the difference? I'm red inside. Oh, let's have that one. This one is an apple that's red inside. And that is from, I don't know where, Nigara? Oh, here, that can't be it, can it? France? It's French. Do I want it if it's French? No offence, but not really. I have this one. I have this one. This one's from China. I'm good to go with China. They're on my side. And these are decent. They're only a pound for three star fruits. Like, that's mad. This you can juice or you can cut and eat it. I think it probably needs a little bit of ripening before I get my teeth into it. So the ruby red pomelos, I'm going to have some of that because I don't need a whole big one. That's sufficient for me. But I do like the yellow ones. They've got no yellows. And do you know what? Peeling, I can't be doing that. Also, oh, look at this. Passion fruit already squeezed into a little tube. Isn't that awesome? I'm not going to get any. Oh, hey, look, the coconuts that you can get. Oh, these are so good. I think I'll have one really good for electrolytes. Nine ringgits, pound fifty. I think these in Waitrose are definitely about a fiver. I'll get two. Simply, all you do is you push this thing, take that off, push that down, and it goes straight into your coconut for fresh, fresh coconut water. And that's all I'll be doing with that. There's another one here. Hang on. This one's nine, and this one's been reduced to five. So why don't I buy this one? How about this? Oh, I'm going to buy this one. These are only five. That's good. Two of those then. So this is now the third dragon fruit. It looks like a dragon fruit. It presents like a dragon fruit. But it's called an Ecuador Pitahaya. I'm going to get one because I've not tried this before. So, but that is pricey. That's eighteen three three pound fifty. Oh, look at this. You know how the Chinese love their mandarins, where they love them so much that they produce these perfect mandarins for 338 ringgits. Let's put that into perspective, guys. That's about 50 pounds, 55 pounds for seven mandarins. I'm yet to be that adventurous to spend 50 pounds on some mandarins. So I'm not going to tell you anytime soon unless, you know, I have a windfall and then I'll buy them. See this little baby here? It's 30 kilos, 30 kilos. Don't be talking to me right now. <laughs> They're huge. Where is the cashier? The? Cashier. Cashier? Yeah. Um, take there and I... take a left. Can I show you? Okay. Here okay. and left. Okay. Can I show you the no problem. Can I show you the Jackfruit. I really want to eat that right now. Look at it. How on earth? That is slimy business going on. Look at the middle of that, it's slimy. That's actually a job to peel. Yes. I told, I showed the lady up to there. That's a whole job. That's a full-time job. Should we get some mully? I've been told not to eat mully because it makes my burps smell. So I was just on the phone doing some work because people in the office sometimes need you to tell them that they need to do things fast. So anyway, I was just having a voice note of that. And then I come across this, black garlic. What the heck? This is like the chinese section, isn't it? Look at these! Black garlic, what's that? What is that? Sweet... Oh, choy. So it's like sweet cabbage. Sweet something else choy. So another kind of choy po, maybe? Like a cabbage? So 
So I'll tell you what else I've got. We've got a whole seafood section. I mean, they are hot on the seafood. In fact, they're not so hot on the red meats. It's the seafood and the white chicken, basically. So let me show you around all of the seafood they've got. Obviously, I won't show you all of it because you get bored, but like they've got everything. What are they? Oh, okay. What are they called? Can't remember. Clams? No. Here, I bring the trolley, darling. Where's Nanny? And then you've got all your tilapias. And then you've got fishes all around here. And let's get some chicken. Where's Nano? Damn it, I've lost my mum. Come with me. <laughs> what is that? Oh my God. Look at that. That's one fat squid. Where's Nanny? Um, are you sure Nanny's over there? Here, are you supposed to be keeping an eye on her? We can't lose Nanny. Where? What size is that salmon? Where? Oh, okay. Okay. We found Nanny. It's okay. Now, you and I know that egg prices went through the flipping roof last year, but here you're going to get eggs for 12.90, which is two pounds, and you've got 12, 24, 36 eggs. And I'll tell you this, they taste different. Corn, what's a corn egg? Chicken, chicken, should we get some marinated? Hey, come over here. This is good. A whole marinated section of meat, and guess what? It's halal. What should we have? That is, oh, I don't know, I want some, I want some red, really. I don't know why I'm feeling a lamb chump chop. Lamb chop? Frozen beef sirloin steak. Sirloin steak. 13 pound or 13 ringgit. Isn't that like much, much more than we paid when we went to that steakhouse? Oh, I guess that's the price including cooking. Oh, I can do this. I'll have some steak, please. What's he got over there? Mince. Looks like mince. This is going to be cooked by me tonight for dinner. I'm going to have steak. I want some I want some protein. Really want some, some decent protein. Uh, here I want some steak. I want a big steak. There we go. Three steaks for us. There we go. Give it to the man then. He'll seal it up. And defrosted lamb chop. Right, okay. And now, like all the meat, the meat that comes here is halal from Australia, surprisingly enough. They actually don't do red meat themselves, as far as I'm aware, not round here. But there you go. Don't do that, Hira. Stop poking the beef, for goodness sake. Oh, what's that? Beef stir fry. Oh, should I get some of that? That's 9.91, that's six, one pounds 50 for a nice bit of beef to chuck in a stir fry. Oh, I could do that. Look, 10, one pound. I might buy some of this and put it in the freezer. Look at it, it's really clean, lean beef. I'll buy some, I'll put some in the freezer because that'd be nice to cook because I really need to get back on my diet, you know? Black pepper marinade. Yes or no, yes or no, yeah, go on then. Black pepper marinade. Chilled beef. It's quite, quite fatty that looks like, doesn't it? It seems to be quite fatty. Can I not get a fat free? What is that? What is that? Dried shrimp, or who? Are people, like people really interested in watching what we've got on the supermarket shelves. If, you, if any of you have actually got this far with me, I'm impressed, guys. Like, you're still here, you're still with me, you're still shopping with me. Beef. Yeah, cool Sliced beef. I was getting this one. Oh, right. These, look. This looks a bit... Yeah. Should I look, this, this is a mince. Sure, it looks fatty, doesn't it? Yeah, we don't want fatty. Is it sure it's fat? So I don't know about you, but when I make a dal, I always chuck some bone in it because it just transforms the whole flavour. So this is um, nine ringgit, it's one pound fifty. I'm not looking for any meat, I'm just looking for marrow. I think it's a, it's not a bad price, it's one nine ringgit, which is one pound fifty. But we, we don't, you only need one mum, you don't need two. If you want to pay for it, you can pay for that, there you go. Mum wants to pay for her own shopping, you know what I mean? They've got chicken, chicken mince. So there you have the halal section, and here you have the non-halal section, which is really cool, isn't it? I would love to have a whole section like this dedicated to myself for halal produce in the UK, but they don't. They scatter it around the whole store. Wouldn't it be so much easier if you just came in here and bought your non-halal produce? But anyway, good. 
So you've got a bit of um, Kellogg's going on here. Kira wants those. What, cornflakes? No, cornflakes. Do you want cornflakes? What's that music? Okay, FYI, Mum wants sugar-free biscuits and she wants lactose-free milk. So, let's go down the biscuit aisle, find the biscuits. Cream crackers! Right, so here we go, we've got the sugar-free biscuits. There's this one, but in fact, I'm going to take that one because that's got nine grains, oatmeal, crackers, sugar-free. Are they crackers or biscuits? I'll get one. I'll get the nine grain and I'll get one because like there's more of those sold. Mum's beat me to it, mate. I mean, I just chose my biscuits. She's got her, her crisps and she's already down the milk aisle. Quick, chase her. I mean, which yogurt should I have? Hey guys, listen, I tried this, yeah? Right, and this is a prebiotic Greek yogurt. Now, when they say prebiotic here, they bloody well mean it, excusing my language. But when you scoop it out, it's like stringy. I mean, can you ferment yogurt more than it's already fermented? I don't know, but that was good stuff. It was really nice. However, I think that's a low fat one. That's a Greek yogurt. That's a blueberry. That's a fresh yogurt. This was nice. This was nice. So this tub here is Swiss yogurt. No, I tell you what is awesome. They've got pictures on the prices. which means you can't go wrong, Pete. Hey, look up there, they've got Ramadan gifts. So basically, the way they do it is they have like an open house on Eid and everybody gifts, like they go for iftars or they go Eid to each other's houses. Um, no, uh, mm, 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 yeah, and they kind of gift each other when you go around basically. And these are the, these are the, they're the um, um, hampers they've made. I can't tell you how, Relaxing it is to just go shopping and know that I don't have to read every single label. I mean, I read it anyway for its fat and its carb and its whatever content, but to be able to just go around and find something and just go, yeah, that's fine, without necessarily having to read the detail. Obviously, I know that some things, there are a few things here because it's a mixture of halal and non-halal, but the majority of it's all halal anyway, so that's the good thing. I think they've got quite a decent selection of bread. I did find, actually, pandan bread the other day. So, what's this? Just plain, ah, oh. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? It's just like a nice soft white bread. It smells, mmm, look at this, look. Yeah, we need these in England. The amount of sandwiches that get made without the crust, then the crust goes in the bin. Yeah, we need some of those. A pandan and red bean. This is another thing they do, right? Is they do like, look, roti cake, and that's, and then this one is the red bean. Red bean? Kidney beans, kidney bean bread. I'll do. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Look at this, right? Okay, we know, we know the caramels. We know the chocolat. But did you know you could get salted egg, car salted egg popcorn, and sour cream and onion popcorn, and cheesy popcorn? Tell me, what's your flavor? So I would call this kind of a midweek shop, but I have spent 439 ringgits. So I think that everything I have here should last me for a week. It's mainly the fruits and some meats. And that's all I've really got. So um, that's 42, 70 pounds. So I'd say, I'd say you could say 70 pounds to 100 is gonna be your weekly spend on food. I do have to say that Aeon is a little bit pricier because you're paying for the whole experience as well as the products. And the products are good. It's a bit like, like I said, shopping in weight shows. We're done. Happy days, Nanny's happy. That's like everything. If Nanny's happy, everything's done. It's 4.43 and we've got to get home for five o'clock. She's got a lesson, but thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, like, subscribe and share.